Uh, okay, long overdue series. This is a 2022. How to uh, become a licensed amateur radio operator. Certainly in the UK. All right, now I got hold of a chap called uh, Steve at the RSGB. I said, Steve, could you send me up a couple of foundation books, intermediate and full, just so I can show people back home how they become a licensed operator and what is the foundation license particularly. So... Steve was kind enough to send me well <laughs> hopefully this is this is it and it is not the latest Playboy magazine from America uh -huh. okay how to become a licensed operator in the UK and we've got the foundation intermediate and the full license manual here but we are particularly interested in this one here that is the the foundation license manual for amateur radio let's show these we might do these another day who knows now this goes along with something on the internet which you can download and have a look at as well which is foundation how do i spell syllabus Silla, syllabus is that right foundation syllabus we're particularly after the rsgb foundation syllabus that link there oh, i'll put in the pin comment or you find it or we'll look in description this is actually for me the most important thing because it's although it's aimed probably at trainers and things like that everything in this book is basically come out of this all right the foundation syllabus wants you to be able to recall various things so that's why very often we will see words like recall that the amateur license is for self-training and radio communications, blah, blah, blah. So if you're, once you've done this book, and I'll do it all with you, you can then go. I mean, it's only, it can't be that many pages. 100. <laughs> 95. You read, you skim through this, and you, and you skim it in conjunction with this book, which is only 40 pages long, all right? Let's skim over what this book is and what the syllabus is about. This man has kindly told us what the syllabus, what the training course is. He says, this man here, about the author, Alan Betts, this should take between 12 and 15 hours. Now, the reality is, I'm going to do this probably in about 90 minutes. Syllabus tells us that the amateur license is for self-training. All right, it's a hobby, basically. It's for self-training. So when you get on the air, you're not supposed to be an expert. This is self-training, okay? So I've been doing this nearly 20 years, and I know about that much, okay? Because the hobby or the, the whole science of RF is an enormous topic. So he tells us about the training course here. Then we're going to go into, I mean, we're not going to cover materials information, all right? There's plenty of data on the internet about that, but you can buy, you know, if you've got, if you allocate up to a thousand pounds, you get a lovely little station to set you off. You could do it for 500, by the way, a full station, but um, anyway, we'll, we'll do that another day. We've got technical basics here and particularly units and symbols. All right. Once we get those under our belt, we can move on. Now, there's a lot of data here in the book, but don't worry about that because I've got an easy way of taking you through it. Alternating current, direct current, we'll cover that. We'll, we'll cover simple transmitters, receivers. There's a couple of block diagrams that you just need to learn, all right? Just a couple of, if because I, I don't know how many questions. I'd say there's 25 questions. As long as you get like 18, 19 right, you'll pass because this is, this is, this is all about self-training, right? We don't want to stop you getting on the air. We want you on the air. So just because you forget what a block diagram looks like doesn't mean to say you can't become an amateur radio operator. Uh, we've got feeders and antennas, how coax works, what is um, a balance feeder, what is a piece of coax, different connector types we've got here, basic antennas, DBs, DBs is fun, we'll do one at that one as well. Propagation, how your signal goes from here to there. License conditions is just basically a bunch of rules. All right. So if you can if you took a driving test and you can drive a car, then you'll easily be able to do your license conditions. So there's probably quite a lot of license conditions here, but it's quite simple really. How to operate, they operate practice and procedures. Mm. It's easy. You know, how to call CQ, how to get a contact, that sort of thing. The International 
uh, phonetic alphabet, you know. So <laughs> I've got I've got some comments on that. Electromagnetic compatibility. So that's all about how things will interfere with you and how you interfere with things that you don't want to. And safety. We don't want you falling off ladders or grabbing the top of a plug. You know, you can get in a main shock. He'll cover that as well. Oh, look, there's the man on the ladder. Brilliant. Uh, you get a copy of this, the license schedule, um, in the exam, actually. The exam's online. You don't need to actually go somewhere. You can do it. So if, you, if you've got a webcam and a bit of software and there's a man there and he'll talk to you, you take the exam. Tells you all about the exam here. So that's it. Ah, and then we've got a syllabus cross-reference. So you'll be able to look things up this page and what's on, on the syllabus here. Oh, I didn't know they had that. So this is a newer version of the foundation that I've got. Lovely. Okay, so we'll strap in and I'll kick the first one of these out in the next couple of weeks. In the meantime, if you check the disc, as soon as that foundation playlist is ready, I'll update the description so you can find it. All right, good. Uh, if you want notified or when I put a new one up, you will have to subscribe and hit the bell, blah, 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 or find a different way. <laughs> right, in the meantime, have a jolly good day. You can't enjoy your radio yet because you're not doing it, but I am. See you next time. Bye for now.